we've been really, really pleased to see, uh, firstly, people come from as far away as they do. I mean, this year we've got people that have come up from, from Nigeria, from, from Russia, from the west coast of the United States, from Canada, all over the place. And uh, it's also really pleasing to see how many people have come back to the conference. So they've been previously and have thought it was worthwhile enough and they enjoyed it sufficiently to make the special effort to come to the Isle of Man. From an organiser's point of view, we're particularly grateful for the participation of the Isle of Man Aircraft Registry in the Department of Economic Development and the Customs Authorities in the Isle of Man as well. And I think it demonstrates how the public sector works with the private sector here. My name is Mark Byrne. I'm a director of ICM. We organise the conference in conjunction with the Aircraft Registry. It is my great pleasure to introduce to you this morning our conference chairman, Mr. Alan Peaford, MBE. The Isle of Man is the centre of registration, really, for the UK now. It's, it's picking up so many new registrations of aircraft. It's, it's a hub for it. And to get the lawyers and the bankers and the regulators together in a single room is really worthwhile for this industry. Businesses are beginning to invest more. As they invest more, they need to get to new markets. If they go to new markets, they need business aviation as a business tool to get there. So we're beginning to see that happen. And there's a certain greater optimism about the market today than there was in the Isle of Man this time last year. As a government, I want to give to you a commitment to being business friendly. And being business friendly is ensuring that you have the highest standards of regulation safety in your case but also being competitive in business. I think the Isle of Man uh, conference is a really good event. It brings together people from throughout the industry and, and I did a little bit of research and I've worked out that uh, in the hall here today there's uh, companies representing more than 220 business jets around Europe so for me that's a good opportunity to meet uh, those contacts. We've had a significant number of challenges to overcome. But at the end of the day, you've got to have an absolutely crystal clear picture of what you want to achieve. I would say that part NCC, which we've just discussed in the last panel, is the biggest thing affecting the Isle of Man at this moment in time. And it's yet to be seen, the, the whole impact that it will have, but certainly we're dealing with it actively from an Isle of Man perspective. I thought the presentation on VAT, value added tax, was, was very interesting. And they talked about temporary emission of aircraft when an aircraft from the U.S. comes to the EU temporarily. There are certain tax rules, that rules you have to comply with. So they talked about that and that was you know, interesting for, for our members. For me, it's not about the numbers of people that come, it's about the, the quality of individuals that, that come. We have some very senior and respected um, industry figures and we have some very senior politicians and, and other industry leaders. So um, it's, it's the quality of the event that, that has just grown and grown and it's all part of the Isle of Man success story. The Aircraft Registry was set up um, to try and help generate uh, an Isle of Man um, aviation industry um, and that has gone from strength to strength. So um, the industry is booming, the registry is booming, it's a great news story and um, we see no lull in activity. So the conference is a natural vehicle for that to, uh, to facilitate that. Deals over a certain size are attractive to banks. If they're below a certain size, they are not attractive to banks of any description. Um, or the only financiers are local local asset finance operators within country. We're growing at a much higher rate than I know any company really is um, in our respective areas on different uh, continents around the world. So I guess um, I'm just here today to really um, share the message that you know, Africa really is open for business. I think it's becoming one of the events to attend now from, from a global basis. Yeah.